Hey guys, and welcome to this basic tutorial on how to make a tennis ball in 3DS Max. So to begin, let's go over to the customize option at the top toolbar, and click on so we can go to the unit setup and drop down. And from there, you want to make sure that the unit scale is set to metric and centimeters. So we can give everything the scale, and press OK. And now from there, you want to go over to the create geometry and select the box option, and create it in any of the viewports. And we're going to manually adjust the length, width, and height segments to 10 centimeters each. And then we're also going to change the length, width, and height segments to 2 each. And next, now that we've got the box created and zoomed out all the way, you want to go to the bottom right and click on the Zoom Extends All Selected option in the bottom right. Alright, and from there, you want to move over to the Modify tab in the top right as well. And in the modifier list drop down, scroll down until you see the spherify option and then click on that to apply to the box. Okay, so now that we've got the box all sphered, you want to right click on it and convert it to an edible poly so we can keep the changes. Okay, next, you'll want to use the vertex selection option over on the right and in any of the viewports you want to select the left and right vertex vertices on the inner uh, parameter or perimeter rather and scale it down to the in the X axis by around 60%. Alright, so I scaled that down in the top viewport, so you want to do the next part in the opposite side. So I have the top left viewport and set it to top and the bottom left viewport set to the bottom. So from here, I'm going to click or select the top and bottom vertices on the inner perimeter this time, and scale it in the Y axis down to 60%. Okay, so in adjusting those vertices, we have modified some of the edges as well. As you can see, it's created some type of weird star pattern. So now you want to select those edges by moving over to the edge selection tool instead. And selecting all those edges that were affected by the scaling. So in the top viewport, that would be the left and right vertices as well as the connecting ones in the corners. And then the top and bottom edges and those connecting ones in the corners for the bottom viewport. And now with those selected, you want to move over to the chamfer tool and click on the settings option so we can change the chamfer on that. And the chamfer that we're going to create is going to be one segment and 0.25 centimeters. And then we're going to click OK to confirm that. And now with those edges still selected, we're going to select the settings for the chamfer tool again and do a single segment once more, but at 0.05 centimeters this time. Okay, so now in the modifiers list, again, while deselecting all the edges, you want to modif uh, go to the modifier list and go down to the turbo smooth option this time. Alright. And now that that's applied, you want to set the iterations to 2 to add more smoothness to it. And now that we've got the Turbo Smooth modifier on, we want to go to the modifier list again and go to the Spherify option and apply that once more. And that's going to round out the ball. Okay. So now that we've got those modifiers in, you want to keep the changes again, so we're going to right click on the ball and convert it to an edible poly once more. Okay, so now that we've got our ball in the right shape and everything, you want to select your use the edge selection tool and zoom in on one of the seams that we created by using the chamfer and double click on one of the edges there to select the entire line on the scene. And next we're going to 
go over to the edge selection or the selection options again and with those edges still selected hold down control and click on the polygon selection so we can change the edges selected to the polygons selected instead. And from there we're going to click on the grow option so we can expand our selection on the seams. We're going to do that twice. And now with those polygons selected we're going to go to the options for the extrude setting and we're going to modify the height so that it's set to negative 0.025 centimeters. We want to extrude that by local normal and then confirm. Okay. So lastly you want to deselect anything they have selected on the tennis ball and then go over to the modifier list again and scroll down so we can find a turbo smooth option. That way we can add more smoothness and detail to the ball itself. And there you go. That is how you make a simple tennis ball in 3ds Max.